This wasn't like trading back last night. Let's talk about that before the picks. Just, just what that was like. So you haven't done trading out of the first round. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was, it's similar to when we traded back in the past. Uh, you know, when we took Vita. You know, I know we didn't trade out of first there to, into the second, but similar. We um, went through a lot of scenarios going into this. How many guys needed to be there that we like, and who they had to be, and that's the only time we would do it. And we matched a scenario there where we had five guys, I think it was, and uh, one of them was left. So we uh, we got lucky in that regard, and we're super excited that that it was Logan. What do you like about Logan? You watched the film, and you brought him in obviously for a thirty minute interview and before. But what is it about him, the player, that excites you? Well, I like his, first of all, his size. He's a big guy, and he's got a, a, a great frame. When he walks in the door, he doesn't look like he's 282 pounds. It looks like he could easily be a lot bigger. I'm not saying that we're trying to make him bigger, but um, he's a very athletic guy with a big upside. He's got great feet. Um, he worked out very well. He's, um, he's got some natural pass rush ability, which we really like. And um, we think he's going to get, he's young. He's going to get better and better. Um, we just see that he's got a really, really high ceiling. What did you like most about Luke Gedeke? Well, he's a character now. Um, he's all football. I think his hobbies are weightlifting. And it stops there. Um, <laughs> maybe driving tractors. Um, he's, uh, you know, he's, uh, all players are different, but he's got a lot of similarities to when we took Alex Kappa. Alex Kappa came from a very small school. I wouldn't call uh, Central Michigan a small school, um, but just very tough. He's a very good athlete. Um, he's all business, a very smart player, um, got a big upside. I think he's, we're going to put him in there at guard, let him compete there, but he could also play right tackle. Um, you know, he's, he's all about football. And when you have smart guys that are just as passionate as he is, all of our picks that we had today um, are like that. Um, you've got a really good chance to hit on a on a good player. Jason, speaking about hitting, when you look at your track record when it comes to offensive line, whether it's Tristan Works in the first, Donovan and Allie in the second, Alex Kappa in the third, getting Ryan Jensen, who didn't have a lot of experience, but a year he becomes the best center in football. What is it about you and your staff that, that can identify offensive linemen and have these guys well, it, it takes a village here. We've got a lot of great people that are involved in this. So I'm certainly not going to take the credit, um, all the credit. So, um, but, so we have great coaches. We have a great staff. I've talked about my staff over and over and over. But I think we've uh, identified the traits, um, what we're looking for in an offensive lineman. And so far, we've, we've been very successful. Smart, love football, tough Obviously, you have to have athleticism and, and, and traits as a football player, too. But um, I just think we've, we've got the right kind of guys that work together and gel together in that unit, which is very important. How much, how much will, I'm sorry. How much will White's pass-catching uh, abilities help, help you with what you want to do in offense? Well, that's a, that was a big reason that we liked him and took him where we did. Um, he's been very involved in that offense um, in the passing game. He's got great hands. Um, it's very important to him um, to be involved in the offense in the, the passing game, and puts a lot of, has a lot of pride in that. Um, you know, so whenever there's a lot of backs that are two down backs, when you have a three down back, you 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 know you put them up a little bit higher on the board for us, especially in our offense. So um, I think it's it's going to be a, a major a big. He's got a chance to be a big asset for us in that regard. Jason, can you describe sort of what your day was like uh, and how much demand there was for that? top pick in the second round as far as phone calls and how much pressure you might have been under to trade it? Well, our, our chef, Tracy, put together a great uh, buffet. So that's how the day started. Um, we, um, we, had, we, had a lot of, we had a lot of calls. We had a lot of uh, people wanting to come up. Um, wanted to make sure that it, was the, it had to be right. I didn't want to, you know, with the limited number of defensive linemen in this year's draft, Thought there was going to be a potential to be a run um, because of the, you know, that's a premium position. So I didn't want to go too far back. Didn't have a lot of action in 
moving back, you know, two, three, four spots, even that would have made me a little bit nervous. But we did have a lot of calls. Um, I think Greg was the one that tweeted out, we saw it today, that only two uh, trades out of 33 in the last 20 years. So it's, uh, it's not as many trades as you would think. That, that shocked me when I saw that, too. But we had, a, we had a lot of calls, but only really a couple offers. Jason, the first two picks were kind of obvious positional needs. This third, you kind of had a little bit more freedom maybe with that. What, what made running back the, the ideal fit for this last pick? Well, truly, this one, we went with the best player on the board. So um, I think when you get in the third round, and some, a lot of times in the second round too, um, we went with the best player, first round for that matter as well. But in this one, it truly was uh, the best player. Jason, part of being a, a three-down running back is you got to be able to pass block to be on the field. And Rashad has talked about in the past, at the Combine specifically, said there's technique, but you also got to have a willingness to do it. Is that something that you saw on the tape when watching him? Yeah, 100%. Um, a lot of these backs, I would say most of them in college, you can pick them apart um, for their pass protection skills. It's, it's kind of a lost art. And so they just, as long as they're willing, as long as they're smart, as long as they want to do it, you got a chance to um, make them better and, and work on their weaknesses in that regard at this level. So we saw that with him. Um, we saw the passion. Um, this guy's a really driven guy with a chip on his shoulder. So when you have guys like that, you got a chance. When you look at his running style, you can, he's one of the backs that kind of emulates his game after his Le'Veon Bell. More, more like an upright running style. Do you see that, that similarity, or what other backs would you describe his running style to, to be similar to? Well, I don't want to, he hasn't put on a uniform yet or even practiced in the NFL yet, but so I don't want to compare him to Le'Veon, but I see what you're saying there. Style. Just the style, he's very smooth. Um, he's more of a slasher, um, more of an outside runner. Um, he can still run between the tackles, but he's got great vision and great patience. He really sets up his blocks well. And once again, he's he's very good in the passing game. Jason, with all the, with all the versatility Logan Hall showed in college, was there one area that you liked the most, like you felt that he's best at blank? Well, we think with Logan, we think he can play the five, the four, and the three technique. We think that he rushes very well inside, and that's what probably piqued our interest the most. Um, his value in the passing game is three technique. So he's got you know a lot of natural ability. He's got a you know, he's got a lot of room for improvement, just like all these guys. But I would say his his rushing skills, his um, from the inside, is what we like the most. Jason, with the versatility of uh, of Logan, does that shut the door on Damacon too? Uh, no, we're not shutting the door on on that. Um, we still want to, you know, there's a lot of injuries that happen throughout the year, and we're not putting all of our stock in the guys that we have right now. So, wouldn't shut the door. How satisfied are you with the night one of your draft? Uh, I think I feel like a broken record. I think every year I stand up here and say, uh, you'll never hear a GM say, you know, I think we had a terrible night, you know. <laughs> so, but uh, I, I feel, we all feel very, very good. I feel like cracking a beer, so that's a good sign. How does it set you up for the final day? Um, I'm excited that we have the first overall pick again tomorrow. Um, you know, that opens up opportunities, possibly some trades and things like that. I'm not saying we will for sure, but I know that we can regroup here and we can take the best player on the board. Jason, you've been pretty consistent in, in saying that you want to give Rob Gronkowski the time and space to make the decision on his own, but the fact that three rounds came and went and you didn't take a tight end, does that point to at least a, a muted optimism or confidence he could be back? Um, no, I'm still giving him that time. Um, we still talk. Um, I think it didn't matter if I if we drafted two tight ends, it wouldn't matter. Um, I think Rob welcomes that. He likes having the more the merrier for him. So I don't think it had anything that doesn't show our hand on or foretell what's going to happen in the future. Do you see Roshan White as the special teams player? Did he play that at all in college, or do you see him? We do. He definitely, we talked about that a lot when we talked with him at the Combine and here, and he's willing to roll up his sleeves and do whatever he can. He walked into our building here when we had him on a top 30 or a 30 visit um, holding the football. And I said, why do you hold that football? He's like, oh, I just, it's just my 
comfort level. I just like to have a football with me. It's like the movie, the program. So, but he, he wants to do he wants to do anything he can to help the team. That's what one of the things we loved about him. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jason. Good Thanks, to see you. Jason.